Podcasts are episodes of programs available on the internet. They're usually audio or video recordings, but they can also be television broadcasts or lectures, performances or other events. The podcast app is the best way to discover, subscribe to and listen or watch podcasts on your iPad. So you need to have the podcasts app, which you can get from the App Store and download. So just go into the App Store and search for podcasts. And the app you want is a purple one. So let's open the app and look at how you can find some content. There's a number of ways you can search for your content. You've got a search bar there. Or you could go into Top Charts, which gives you the top audio and video podcasts in different categories. You can go into the Featured and look at what's new and noteworthy and recently added. So let's look at a few of them. So go into Search, and up in the top there, it's going to search for uh, something on, on gluten-free cooking. And I'd like a, a podcast, preferably a video one, but we'll just see what we get in search. And it gives you in the search results, you can get individual episodes or you can get podcasts. So if I just select podcasts, then we would have a series of episodes. So if I looked at cooking with the mums, then all of the different episodes in that podcast are listed there, as well as their length so the first one is 43 minutes and nine seconds and it gives you the dates that it was broadcast and keep going down and see how many episodes there are in that series so in this case there's a, a lot there's 256 episodes of cooking with the mums and I'm not sure all of that is related to gluten-free and that started in 2008 now when you look at a, a podcast series you can subscribe to it when you subscribe to a podcast then every time there's a new episode that episode will be downloaded to your ipad and you can listen to it or watch it on your podcast app if you don't subscribe to it you can just take individual episodes i might just want to take mum's lunchbox makeover and download it just by tapping that it'll start to download it but if I subscribe to it, let's tap subscribe, and now you can see it says, it says subscribed. When I go into my podcasts, I now have a podcast series called Cooking with the Mums. And if I tap on that, it's downloading, currently downloading one episode. It's processing it now. And that episode is sitting on the iPad using my iPad storage. And it's just used the download data that I have. Uh, and that's unplayed. Now, if I want any more of those episodes, because there were hundred, not over 200 of them, if I tap feed, I can see every single episode and maybe just download the ones that were interesting. So maybe, maybe download this one. And then if I want to know what they're about, if you tap the I next to an episode, that gives you a bit more about what that episode's about. And tap more. So it gives you much more information. It gives you a website you can go to for more information. And then you can save the episode or download the episode, mark it as unplayed, all sorts of, of things you can do. And once it downloads, so the, the first one's downloaded, we'll go back to unplayed. And, I've, and one's downloaded and one's almost downloaded. If I tap that, this is an audio podcast so I can listen to it in the music app. If you want to keep an episode, once you've listened to it or watched it, when you go into the eye, you can mark it as played. And those played episodes can be deleted simply by swiping to the right. I could delete that episode. Or I could go into the edit button, tap the one I want to delete. And then there's a delete button, so that one's gone. Uh, the one that's currently downloaded, uh, it'll stay there until I decide I want to delete it. And I can just simply delete it from there and it's gone. I've got no unplayed episodes. When I tap the settings here, 
I can tweak the way I want the podcast app to behave. So I want to play the newest episode to the oldest. So you can see on on, uh, this one here that the newest episode, the 12th of November, 2014, and you've got the last episode, which is down in 2008, because that's the way I've asked it to set itself up. I could have said oldest to newest. Uh, Sort order. Newest on top, or put oldest on top, and now I've got 2008 up on the top there. Uh, When new episodes are available, they will be marked as unplayed. How do you want to receive those episodes? Do you want to refresh it? So every six hours, in this case, the default, it's going to go out and look for new episodes, and then it will download them to your podcast app. Now, you can do that once a day, once a week, or you can turn it off altogether and do it manually. If if the podcast is a daily podcast, then you'd want to check every day. If it's a weekly podcast, then you check it weekly. So it depends on your collection of podcasts. I collect, uh, would, would check day because some of these are every day. Go back to settings. Limit episodes. So this is the number of episodes that you can show in the unplayed view. You can have Uh, that off so that all unplayed episodes are shown or I can just show the five most recent episodes or the most recent so if you don't want to be overwhelmed by episodes to watch or listen to. Downloading episodes I've got that off so that if I if I want them to be downloaded I'll download or I can just do only download the new episodes. Because you don't have to download them you can stream you can just uh, tap to play and it will just stream down and it won't actually save on your device unless you download it and delete played episodes i have on default on so 24 hours after they've been played so you don't have to worry about going back in and deleting them yourself once they're played or you mark it as played after 24 hours it will just be deleted now along the left here are other podcasts that i have subscribed to and with the the number indicating the number of episodes to be listened to or watched. You can also pull it down and let go, and that will automatically trigger uh, a search for new episodes. So the latest episode is up to date, 10th of October. So any of these, tap, tap that to, to start it searching again and check for any episodes, the latest one being 23rd November, so they're up to date. Now, other podcasts you can search for in the top charts. I prefer audio podcasts when I'm driving in the car so I can listen to them through the car radio. But I like to watch video podcasts on my iPad. So I like a mixture of both. So when you're searching for a podcast, you need to decide whether you want audio or video. Now in the top charts, you can select the category that you like to search for. So if I want a business podcast in management and marketing, then these are the top podcasts in that category. And if I'm looking for a video one, and I'm just going to select this one, and these are the different episodes in that Google AdWords Secrets HD video podcast. And if I like the look of it, then I can subscribe to it. If I don't really want to subscribe to it, but I just want to watch an episode, then I can just start downloading that episode. And it will download, taking a lot longer because of its video. So you don't have to subscribe. You can just watch individual episodes. And then go back and and find what is popular in all these different categories. So if you're looking for games and hobbies and video games, then what are the top video podcasts? So if you like Minecraft, there's usually a heap of those. Or Xbox trailers. Whatever it is you want, you'll find a podcast on it. And if you can't find it in top charts then go back to search and do a more specific search for it so if I was looking for a topic such as how to play golf then I'm looking for a podcast on that so it's going to give me all podcasts and I've got individual episodes that I can search through if I just want a specific episode or I'm looking for a podcast and I'm not sure which one's video or audio, it's the travel, so I've just got to look at them all and see if I fancy any of the episodes and then subscribe. Uh, the other one in here is featured. So like the App Store and the iTunes Store, they have a podcast 
store where they'll show you the most recent podcast and these are location based because I'm in Australia it's giving me ABC television I know it's Australia because it knows what location I'm in and then it also has the new and noteworthy so what's all the new ones and if you tap see all you can see all the new and noteworthy podcasts sorted by release date by name or featured and in in this case the e means it's means it is explicit so that it's the language or the content is x-rated so beware before you download them some collections music podcasts and footy podcasts etc there's a fair few things here that you can look at if you want to be a writer and there's a, a podcast on that one and if you are looking at this one but this one didn't quite grab you then don't forget you can look at reviews so reviews on what this podcast is about and also related. So if you're wanting something on writing but this one isn't quite what you want, here's some similar ones and every one of them has that. Anything you're downloading, you'll see in the downloads button and anything that's video, you can see how long it's taking. It's 91 megabytes of space and it's going to take 16 minutes to download. I can cancel that download if I don't want to have that one anymore. Podcasts are all free. You don't have to pay to subscribe to anything and you can just uh, stream them or subscribe to them. If you have an iPhone then, and you have the podcast app on your iPhone, then you'll see the exact same podcasts and content all synchronized together. And if you've got iTunes, whether it's Windows or Max, you can also subscribe to and organize your podcasts in iTunes. So this is iTunes and there is a podcasts section. So up in the top here, podcasts. So the exact same podcasts that I've been searching for and downloading on my iPad are also reflected in iTunes and are stored on my computer. So if I no longer wanted cooking with the mums, I can delete that podcast and now it will disappear from my iTunes account. I won't see it on my iPad anymore because I've deleted it. I don't want to start cooking. I can delete it. And you can manage your podcasts on here as well, marking them as played or unplayed, deleting individual episodes, keeping some episodes information. Now you can refresh them and they'll then iTunes will go out and look for new episodes. Refresh the podcast. If you get any you know, symbols like this, I can right-click and refresh it. And this will work whether you have Windows or Mac computers. So in this lesson, we looked at a different type of content, podcasts. All free, totally available on your iPad or your iPhone or your Windows or Mac computers. There is a heap of content out there that you should be going out to look for.